Hello guys and girls, this is actually the Excalibur and it's going to be um, a review of um, a standard room in Tower 1. They have been remodeled and I'm showing you the corridor before I show you the room and before I show you the room I want to preface something. I was perhaps a little harsh in my review that it's coming. Uh, there are some aspects of this room and resort which are good and some aspects which are quite bad. And I am trying to give you a really objective perspective, and then it's up to you to decide whether this is for you or not. Now, the one thing that I have to stress that really struck me this time, because I've been, I've been here many times before and it was awful, is that it's so clean. For the budget, quote unquote, resort that it is in the South Strip, it's actually quite clean. Now, I don't know if it's clean because they're, it's not full. I don't know, but it's very clean. Um, and usually, you know, affordable resorts are not necessarily this clean, but not just the room, which was very, very clean, but also um, the, the corridor. I still remember in the past, there used to be food loitering and rotting in the corridor for days. I'm not joking. We're talking about the past. But now it's just been really, um, it looks remodeled even if the decor is the same as before, but it looks like it's new carpet, new um, paper, you know, wallpaper, new lights. So in that respect, it's a pleasant surprise. But then of course there are bad aspects of this resort as well. So here we are. I'm going to explain them right now. And this is the room. Hello guys and girls, this is a review of the Excalibur standard room, uh, Tower 1, which is the, the most inconvenient of the two towers. They have updated this tower to a little bit, so, um, so it's not as bad as it used to be. <laughs> I'm going to go in, okay, and then I'm going to show you the room. I have to tell you, be aware be aware of the savings that this resort uh, may uh, display, uh, may show that you are making, because the hidden fees may actually add up to you staying somewhere else, to the same amount that you would have spent staying somewhere else that might be better for you. Anyway, let's start from the room itself. First of all, there is an overall smell. I think it's, it's some people say the Excalibur scent. Uh, it's a little bit, you know, it, it's a little bit of pudding. It's in the corridor in some areas. The room itself and the bathroom, they smell like bleach, which frankly, it irritates me, but it's probably me. It probably means it's been clean, <laughs> which is good. Okay, now, oh, one thing I really disliked is the fact that they don't tell you anywhere, but you have to pay, well, they may tell you somewhere on the website, but it is not so obvious at booking, um, that you have to pay a $20 plus taxes resort fee. Uh, sorry, scratch that. $20 plus taxes early check-in fee. Can you believe it? So you are trying to save money and you check in early. And now we're talking 1.30, we're not talking 10 o'clock in the morning. And you have to pay $20 plus taxes, which amounts to about $23 at present, just to check in early. And you know, they tell you uh, as you check in, so of course the majority of people just pay it, of course. And then there are of course the resort fees, which are, I think are excessive for this type of hotel. And in the end, you end up paying quite a bit. And as you check in, at, after they tell you and they ask for your credit card and so forth, what you do, you probably wonder why, oh, why you didn't stay at MGM Grand. Just to name one, it's part of the same company anyway. So I'm sure I'm not offending anybody. Uh, the, the, the room itself, I have to be honest, I mean, the, the, the resort itself is not perfectly kept at all. Um, the door looks, you know, cheap, but you know, there's a little bit of wear and tear everywhere, but it's not, it's not that bad. You know, it used to be a lot worse. I remember a long time ago, I checked in Tower One and I checked out. I just decided to go somewhere else. It was so depressing. But now they've actually improved in that the carpet looks new and it looks clean, you know, reasonably clean. It looks clean. And this dreaded connecting room, most of them are connecting. I forgot to ask for a non-connecting room, but I was 
so not happy with all the other things that I learned that I forgot. Plus, it's always a hurried experience at Expocalibur. They have so many rooms and people checking you in are just not enough. So when you actually end up it's your turn, then what you do, you just, just want to hurry up the, the process as fast as possible. So don't do what I did. Just take a deep breath and make a list of all the things that you want to ask for. And they can only say no, or they can only say, oh, there's an extra fee for that. In fact, all I heard is that there was an extra fee for just about everything I asked. So that really is annoying. And that thing of this cheap, cheap quote unquote, hotels, some of them on the strip in Vegas, because off strip, it's a different story altogether. And so what I'm saying is that the rates are relatively affordable. I mean, cheap sometimes, but then it, all these added extras pile up and it's just in, you end up, as I said, paying probably what you would have paid uh, across the road. You would have paid m maybe the same amount of Tropicana, which is a much better resort or MGM Grand, you know. I'm just talking about the surrounding area. And it's really management at management discretion. If you don't have to pay the early resort fee. Some uh, hotels, many affordable hotels do not apply it. Uh, you know, I'm just thinking of one of the Orleans, Gold Coast, they don't they don't apply it. Uh, even if Gold Coast, Gold Coast is very small, Orleans is not that small and they still let you check in early if they can. Um, but it's just here I just don't like, I never like the customer service of Excalibur. It does feel like they are taking us for granted and somehow we're not worthy of being, you know, worthy, and that's bad. You might get a much better experience if you check in here at Excalibur, if you check in as a VIP guest, which happens when you use their complimentary offers, and we have we talk about that on top-buffet.com, or um, if you redeem um, a My Vegas reward, which you have to do your calculation and see if it's worth your while and you have to phone making sure that at the time you want to redeem the time you want to stay they will not apply the resort fee on top of that it really changes all the time so make sure and do your math and decide which rewards are, are better usually um, rooms are better to redeem if you're using my vegas uh, unless the buffet you want to go to is particularly expensive but nonetheless let's just talk about the room. Some of you will say, oh, you just talk about the room. The bed, of, as you can see, it's slightly remodeled with some sort of dreaded cover, which somehow they always think it's okay, but you just get rid of the cover and, and it's fine. The the bed is actually, this is a um, supposedly a king size bed and it's soft enough. I haven't slept on it, but uh, it's soft enough. So it looks like it's pillow top, you know, not obviously the luxury style the, the luxury um type and uh, you know the furniture is cheap but uh, it's not worn out obviously it's relatively new and you've got this big chest here with a a, a, a large a large white uh, flat screen tv but it's not hd every other hotel i've been to this time it's by the way, May 2015 has HD channels. I haven't seen one yet. Maybe I failed to find one, but my experience here, it looked like there was no HD, which kind of is bothersome when you have a TV of this kind. And uh, and everybody has flat screen TVs, you know, in, in, in Vegas hotels. It's just that it's almost pointless if you don't have HD uh, channels. Um, this one is a semi strip view. We're so south that you're never going to see the strip properly unless you have you face north and uh, this one doesn't. Um, presumably, I think actually I'm pretty sure that there is an extra charge if you actually want a strip view. I don't care. I've seen it enough times, um, but you may want to pay that. There are ch extra charges for everything. I could not stop seeing the list of extra charges for the things that you may want. So actually I'm going to double check to make sure I'm not paying extra for this room, for maybe because it's a king bed, you know? Um, so yes, I mean, I know some of you will say, oh my God, you sound so annoyed and so and i want to hear somebody who's up uplifting and hopefully i'm uplifting when i review other things check out the other videos and read the website i tame myself a lot on the website okay i'm taming myself when i write but here i'm you know impromptu reviews after you know lining up forever and uh, and then and just being told of all these extra fees it bothers me not for me but i'm just thinking of you guys you know i mean it's just 
how bad can it get? And I really strongly recommend that you find out all those things. Give them a call. Even if you're in Europe, give them a call. Find that cheap uh, abroad calling, a calling card, international calling card, and phone them up and make sure that you know all the fees that you will be charged, and then calculate if it's still worth your while to stay here at Excalibur. Because it's not a very nice resort. It's, it's, it's an, you know, it's okay, and that's it. Uh, now, if you want just a place where you can crash, and say if you divide a room between the four of you, two queen beds, then obviously these little annoying pesky extras will not bother you so much, and it's a different story altogether, but you still can share uh, the rate for a, a better resort. So, as I say, just paying $20 extra per night may well be a good idea, and plus you will end up pay, uh, playing at a resort that you actually like, and uh, you know you might receive comp offers from a resort that you actually like to come back over and over. But it is entirely up to you. You've got this um, table here, you know, trying to uh, to have a th the, the, the the you know the the castle theme. I'm fine with it. It doesn't bother me. It's just not, not a real desk. It's just a table. Um, the Tower 2 has slight remodeled rooms, but it's all very, very relative. Personally, between you and me, I've stayed in Tower 2 many times, and I almost prefer Tower 1, except for it's very inconveniently located if you want to use the pool and the, and the gym and the spa, because you've got to cross the whole casino for that. Um, but yeah, you know, it's clean. It's basic. It's clean. The, the carpet is, is new, looks new, which is very welcome the the furniture looks decent you know i mean there is wear and tear this is not win okay but uh, yeah it's just cheap and basic really and i think in the end having stayed at a lot of affordable hotels in vegas uh, i really don't like this one i just think it's too much money that you end up paying especially with all the little pesky extras extras and the amenities are just not that great with the exception perhaps of the large pool areas they have a really big pool area especially if you have children there they have a special section for children um you know with little um sliding a, a slide and it it can be fun um but we do have a section on the best pools in vegas for resorts and uh, so we advise you to check that because we are updating it and we're going to update it until say the beginning of june 2015 so page by page it's going to be updated uh let's go to oh finally very happy to see that there there is a safe i hate it when resorts don't have safes it's not very big yes you can fit a laptop but once you fit a laptop you can't put much else maybe on top of it but that will ruin your laptop so put the laptop at the very top so this is it i've seen much bigger safes than these even the orleans where i've just come from has a much bigger safe much better prices a free shuttle to mid strip i would say it's a better deal but then some of you really insist on wanting to be on the strip and you have to understand do you really because if you're staying in a hotel that offers free and frequent shuttles, you really don't have to. If you are staying in a resort that is off strip and do not, and they don't offer a free shuttle, then yes, because a taxi, you know, cab prices, they add up, especially if you find a cab, a cab driver that is not very honest. And we have a section on that on top-buffet.com. But even if you find a nice and honest cab driver and, you know, but you end up going to several places on the strip then all this adds up but the secret in that case would be to rent a car and we have tips on that too on top-buffet.com uh, if you rent a car then you really are not obliged to stay on the strip and i wouldn't unless it's really mid-strip and i'm facing Balazio fountains or mirage or something actually nice to look at um okay let's talk about the bathroom it, this has not been remodeled, clearly. It's, it was like this, I don't know. The first time I came in Vegas, I think it was about nine years ago, ten years ago. Probably nine. And it was exactly like this. Uh, it's in decent condition, though, you know. I mean, as I say, it's clean. It's in decent, It looks clean. In decent, it's large. Um, it's kind of funny. It's just a little depressing. I don't know. It reminds me of, I don't know, it reminds me of what... Um, yeah, it reminds me of what the quad used to be like it's not as bad because it's better kept i have to hand it to excalibur and Caesars entertainment in general they have better kept resorts and this one even if it's affordable quote unquote 
it's better kept. Oh yes, and you have a little clothes area there with your ironing board and a very, very low luggage rack. And so I don't understand, you might as well put your luggage on the floor. Sorry, I know this is a bit, a bit of a moany review, but you know, I have to tell you the truth. Um, and then of course you, you have some sort of, this has been removed. I wonder if they had problems, you know. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> and you do not have a bathtub, but you have a large shower. You know, it all smells like bleach. I don't know why they use bleach. I hope it's, you know, it's nothing serious that they have to clean. Uh, in some resorts, they don't use... That's okay, it's okay. Uh, the pressure. In some resorts they don't use bleach anymore, they use um, uh, biological um, detergents which smell much nicer, you know. This is really, you know, bleach is the cheapest thing, right? So, well, so I don't know. I don't know. This is it. Some of you will say it's perfectly fine, and it is, you know, perfectly fine, depending on what your expectations are, but I don't like the smell of bleach and I just don't like the pesky extras that really, really, really will make you wish you booked somewhere else and just for what, 20 extra dollars a night? Well worth paying a little bit more and pampering yourself a little bit more. But of course that's my choice, it's up to you and as I say, if you really want a budget place, there are better places than this one on a budget. Um, well, we have other views showing you the, the, the pool area and the gym. Uh, and you know when I review the gym usually I'm very very generous I mean I like it now let's see if this time it's the same uh, but for details and updates you are recommended to check top-buffet.com because sometimes the updates just are written there and we don't do a, a review of um, a review uh, using the video a video review now for those of you who ask what this is this is a little mini tram which will stop there uh, just near New York, New York and facing MGM Grand. This tram will take you to Luxor and Mandalay Bay. Can you see Luxor there? A little bit. No, you won't see Luxor, but you'll see the Luxor sign. And then Mandalay Bay further back, further south. Over there you've got, as I said, uh, Tropicana and Hooters. And then the beautiful mountains over there. If you, if you want... Uh, it's always worth asking for a mountain view because there's no extra for that and it's beautiful. I didn't ask for any type of view whatsoever, I just got this room. Um, it's okay, you know, you look down, at least there's some greenery, you know, it's okay, it's okay. And some of you will be perfectly happy, but you know, as I say, I like the fact that it's in, in decent condition, that's really, really important. Maybe it was, uh, you know, they changed carpets uh, recently and the bed looks fine and feels fine. But, you know, as I say, I just don't like the way it's this, this, this uh, resort is, is operated. It's just so uh, factory style, you know? So you don't feel any sort of customer service whatsoever. And I've checked in here enough times and it's always the same. And if you have a problem, heaven forbid, because you are treated like an inconvenience. Whilst other places they do apologize and they're trying to make you feel happier. Although, of course, you know, once you've seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of guests, sometimes you, you just don't, it, it's just a number. I understand that, but it shouldn't be really because you are an individual. Okay, guys, well, um, oh, one final thing, the air conditioning system which is set, usually set to a minimum. It's the same that I've seen in every affordable resort. The difference is that this one actually is operated here as opposed to say some other affordable resorts like Orleans that actually on Gold Coast they actually have a thermostat on the wall that you can more uh, you can operate more easily. I just hope there's nobody here at the next door that's gonna be loud, although I don't think I'm gonna be staying here a long time. You do have a self service checkout but I will double check that because I've already seen fees that I don't recognize. Uh, so I'll have to go waste some, a bit of time and talk to the registration people. Okay guys, so um, what can I say? I'm sorry I don't sound up, uplifting. You know, I know some of you just want to be happy and think that everything's great and everything will probably be great, especially if you come with an attitude that everything's okay. But if you are trying to save money and you want the best, some of you come from a long place and some of you cannot afford to come to Vegas four times a year. So you want to make 
the best out of your experience. So for that reason, I would think again about booking Excalibur, but I do go in detail about what, uh, which resort may be best for your needs on top-buffet.com and do not hesitate to ask us via the contact form. Please don't ask me many questions via the channel. You can post comments, you're very welcome, but I have so many comments that still I haven't reviewed and uh, it's it's really it's going to be difficult for me to reply to you via this channel though by all means post your comments and they will be read I will read them all I just may not be able to reply to them all but via the contact form on the website I will definitely reply okay guys see you on top-buffet.com and bye bye from Excalibur Tower 1 bye oh yes an addendum the safe that I raved about doesn't work. So now I'm actually waiting for the locksmith and that could be five minutes to 30 minutes, I was told, which is really annoying if you have a busy schedule. And the other thing, you know, the other thing that I always wonder about places like the Excalibur is why can't you check that before you let somebody in? Why don't you check that everything works before you actually think that a place is fit for checking in? Uh, it is an experience that I have had here at Expo Excalibur and a couple of other quote-unquote cheap uh, resorts on the Strip. I have never had this experience off Strip. Um, it's just a Strip cheap special. So there is a word that uh, British people used to use a long time ago when I was in London uh, and the word that they used was cheap and nasty. And I feel like saying that <laughs> with regards to my experience so far at Excalibur because yeah, yeah, the room is clean enough. It doesn't make me want to run away. I can stay, it's absolutely fine. But these the extra fees and the things that don't work bother me, you know? I want to check in and I want things to work. And I can't even leave because obviously, you know, I have things in my safe and I don't feel comfortable about walking out with all the stuff, you know exposed although I'm sure everything is fine I have only had one bad experiences in Vegas resorts with regards to things being stolen but I'm not going to talk about it here <laughs> okay and I won't even name the resort where I had that experience but let me tell you it was not you know an upscale resort okay guys but it, by the way and it was not off strip either well what, I don't know. I'll say nothing else. Okay, guys, see you on top-buffet.com. Bye-bye. Hello, guys. It's an addendum to my Excalibur Room video review. I've been thinking about it all evening. As I was gambling at Aria, which is not a good thing to do, by the way. <laughs> I thought about this room, and I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to take a second look, because I might have been too harsh. As I said, it's not a bad room. You know, if you manage to get this room for a really low price, say just over $20 per night, of course you have to add the resort fee on top. And it's the same everywhere except for those off-street resorts, you know, which are really affordable. Then their resort fee is affordable. Or a couple of downtown places which are also very good and their resort fee is affordable. But here it's like $20 and plus change resort fee. So, you know, a room that it's, say, $29, and you think, oh, it's fantastic, $29 for a room on the Strip, yeah, and it's clean, you know, plus $20 plus dollar resort fee, so it's already $40, $50, basically, plus a few more dollars in taxes, and so that's $50, and you know what you can get for $50, because you've seen my review of, of uh, this gorgeous Puerto Vallarta room, right? And they don't even have a casino. <laughs> So it's not necessarily a good deal, but it's a great deal if you come from Europe. Um, so that, but the chances of you being able to get it for that low price is low. There are ways, and you always have to book in during low traffic times. So if you want to come to Vegas, don't choose when to come to Vegas unless you have gone through their calendar and worked out the cheapest times to come. Even, you know, every month has a cheap week or a few cheap days. And some months, obviously, they have a whole calendar which is affordable. So think about it. Don't just say, oh, I want to take holiday, say, I don't know, in um, April. Well, that's not a good idea. A lot of people are coming here in April. 
you're not going to find their great deals, Some depending on the days. Anyway, it's not written in stone. What matters is what events are taking place in Vegas during the time in which you're here, which will determine how expensive the rooms are going to be. So if you get this room, say, for $40 plus you add resort fees, which is already $60 plus taxes, it's beginning to add up. At which point, I said earlier, you might as well consider a couple of off-strip options, such as Gold Coast and the Orleans, with free shuttles to the Strip, which saves you tons of money uh, because you're going to spend a lot less. And they have lower resort fees and good internet. So, and you have H, you know, HDTV channels, <laughs> which means you're going to spend less at the casino out of desperation. <laughs> okay, so um, I got the safe to work, by the way. It, apparently the batteries were dead. <laughs> Something so simple. Okay, um, but it didn't say, so I didn't know. So actually, and then I worked out, I found out this. I just got to show you. I, you can tell that I've eaten at Aria, right? I'm just so much energy. Um, you see, this is actually a strip view room. Anti-lucky. Anti they were nice to me. I thought they were horrible to me. <laughs> and this is as good, as good as it gets. There's another tower, tower one, with another kind of diagonal strip view. But, you know, because Excalibur doesn't really, it's the shape of the Excalibur is such that, they, first of all, we're south strip, so you're not going to see Bellagio no matter where you are. Um, but this is it. This is as good as it gets, and I'm fine with that. I like mountains anyway. I don't see any. I see a view of the airport as well. <laughs> and also a view of, well, the sign of uh, Luxor, which basically nothing. I'm going to go, go a walk. I'm, I'm going to do a walkthrough of Luxor because so many of you have asked. Sorry, I've got luggage there. You see, this is what I do with the tables that are not suit, um, desks. Okay, guys. So have I been fair? I hope I've been fair. I really want to be fair. I have to stress the carpet is very clean, which is very nice. You know, when you go to this affordable resorts, oh my God, I got my own slippers. You know, the ones that you cannot touch the carpet and I bring my own slippers and my own wipers and it's just, you know, I wonder if I should live this way. <laughs> But I like to do reviews for you guys, so, uh, but I will, I promise, you know, next time and hopefully in a couple of months time, if not sooner, depends on when I'm back from a long trip that I'm going to go to very soon. Uh, oh, I might actually do some videos on that too. Uh, anyway, anyway, what was I, what was I saying? Um, depending on when I'm back from my other long trip, but hopefully in a couple of months, if not sooner, I will probably opt to check into a couple of luxury resorts just because I've done it before and it's so nice. It, get, it makes it difficult for me to get out of the room because I'm enjoying the room so much or the suite so much, which is one of the reasons why I like to get a basic room. Plus, many of you prefer uh, reviews of affordable places. And I understand. Why not? You know, I mean, uh, even the website that we write, top com, it's all about value. So what's the point of, of, of reviewing a room that's $300 a night, right? I understand you guys. Okay, so this is it. So hopefully I have been fair. Um, I, I felt a little bit bad because I thought I might not be fair. But what really bothered me, and it still does no matter what, Yes, the, it's very clean and it smells like bleach. It's very clean. That's good, okay? But what really bothers me are those pesky additional fees. How annoying is that? Oh, early check-in. Oh, two o'clock check-in. It's early check-in. $20 more. Oh, you want this other room? Oh, do you want the view? Oh, do you want a bed? Do you want two beds? That's an extra. Now, as I said, I lucked out. I thought I had been uh, badly treated, but as it happens, they only charged me for early check-in. They did not charge me for the re for the view but i did not go to tower two which is an extra charge i really really don't think tower two is is, is that much better it looks better but it last time i was there it was more worn out i mean it's more modern definitely and it's more convenient for the pool no doubt it's in the same area and here you gotta cross the whole casino, but you'll never get to the pool before, it, you know, unless you drop some money into the slot machines. But anyway, so, you know, I hope I have been fair. It's okay. If you can get this room, Excalibur Tower One basic room at a really good rate, and I'm saying it has to be $40 maximum, but really you should be getting it for a lot less than that, plus resort fee, of course, and taxes, then yes. but. Bear in mind that you might get a much better deal somewhere else. So check us out on top-buffet.com. Bye-bye, guys.
Oh my God, I haven't finished. Another little addendum. Okay, okay, okay. Some people will book uh, a booking that will promise you $20 food and beverage credit. It's a, an Excalibur special. In fact, uh, watch out, and I, it's worth nothing. So when you want to take advantage of this credit, it's always a really, really good idea to phone them up. And it may be a bit tricky because, you know, the offers have different codes, but make sure you have the right code and tell them when you're on the phone and get the information you need. Why this is a little bit of a trap? Because $20 food and beverage credit really is not something that you can use everywhere on the resort. In fact, here, if you can see, you can only use it at Luxor and Excalibur, and you can only use it um, in any of these, uh, well, only at these selected places. So, for example, at Excalibur, the steakhouse at Camelot after 5 p.m., the lounge and the lobby bar. And, you know, the lobby bar, you know when you're going to get there. And, of course, tax and gratuity is extra, which is odd. Um, it's very odd. But nonetheless, so that's a bit of a trap. Do not get enticed by this kind of... Um, resort credits uh, unless you check what they actually give you and Excalibur as I say it's a little bit bad for those things there are other resorts that do give you a real resort credit which means you can spend it wherever you want to spend it at the resort buffet bars anything that you can think of and these are the real resorts this one here feels a little bit like a motel but greedy <laughs> a greedy motel okay guys sorry about that see you on top-buffet.com hi guys this is an addendum of an addendum of an addendum of the excalibur room <laughs> i just had to tell you okay the this is tower one in case you forgot the pillows are very comfortable the linen is actually good quality. I don't know if you can see it. It's none of that cheap stuff that you find sometimes in those affordable resorts, so to speak. And the bed is very comfortable. The mattress, the nice pillow top mattress. So, you know, it's actually okay. It's okay. I actually don't mind staying here. So, yes. It's still about, you have to work out whether it's the right resort for you for a variety of reasons, but as I say, it's actually, you know, it's a step up from what it used to be. Okay, guys.